to talk about Voyager, in fact. Voyager. Voyager. So, I remember years ago I was incredibly lucky and I went to Generations, the event at the Royal Albert Hall. Never have I oh seen so many Trekkies in one place in my life. To this day, even in Vegas, did not see as many Trekkies in one really? place. Really? Yeah. Wow. The Albert Hall was packed. Gosh. And yeah, it was like really magical being on the train when I was really little and getting off at Waterloo and there just being a sea of Trekkies. And that was all you could see was just Trekkies. I was so jealous, I, I couldn't go. But. <laughs> but, but Rick Berman showed the opening like sequence for Voyager. So he had all the marquee plot going on and then the beautiful opening which, you know, you fall so in love pretty. with. Yeah, it's so pretty. You're <laughs> like, I was bl literally blown away. And ever since I saw that bit, I've always enjoyed the marquee plot. I thought it was an interesting twist and, you know, something quite new for Star Trek. But yeah, I've always quite liked yeah. that. Ah. Do you think that the marquee, they kind of blended in with the main crew quite quickly? It was, yeah, it, was... it did seem like there was... Obviously there were some that didn't. Yeah. But generally speaking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> generally speaking, yeah, it was quite a easy transition. I guess, you know, the, and you'd think proper, I'll say the word, terrorists <laughs> wouldn't have been able to blend with such a cultural difference mm. to theirs. Yeah, so, so it's quite, you know, one's quite regimented, the other's yeah. quite freedom based. Um, yeah, it, there was that one episode where it kind of went back to it, wasn't mm. there, where um, Two Box Hollow Program. Yes. Uh, where he he came up with some scenarios of um, of what to do if, if the marquee he, kick off. And, yeah. And I really enjoy that because it brings back, when Janeway says, my crew or something, yeah. it's like, ooh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, you kind of forgot, you forget, yeah. don't you? Other than yeah. it's like different in rank. Um, yeah, there, you there is, Yeah, there is such a... And you think Chakotay, of all characters, I thought he would have a stronger opinion for longer but of all, he seems to have mm. kind of blend in the quickest and the easiest. It was kind of a bit of a coincidence, well not coincidence, but kind of convenient that he already was a Starfleet commander, yeah, wasn't it? it was, but, yeah. But, um, I like Bellana getting chief engineer and... Yeah. Although, when the Carrie came back in season seven, you don't see him for all these years, mm -hmm. and then he turns up a couple of episodes before the end. Oh, you know that's not going to end well. <laughs> no. Sort of like not mainstream enough to kill. The no, you can't kill mainstream, stream. but yeah, just kind of. He's got a name, a backstory. Story. We're going to care kill. if he dies. <laughs> <laughs> One of our tits, um, by the name of Sam. Well, she was a tit, and then she kind not of me. <laughs> different Sam, but she's kind of lost her way. But she was very Voyager, and some people are so... like that that yeah. they. They see Voyager and they can't like any others because Voyager is that so dis disjointed from the others in yeah. some ways. Then you get that with people who like Deep Space Nine True. too, don't yeah. you? Like, there are some standalone Deep Space Nine people, but these are perfect people for assimilation. Yeah, you know? they are. They are. Yeah. They're ripe for... Just, they're admitting they're a Trekkie because they already like Star Trek. Yeah. It's just a simple step. I just got to get over that whole. Ooh, I only like this bit. I like. Yeah. I hate people say I like Deep Space Nine because it's more warlike. Oh. It's like this brings oh. me to the whole. I don't like the Enterprise D being the flagship because it's not a war class ship. What is with that? It's well. I'm with you there, Carol. And yeah. I was thinking about this whilst ironing the other day. I was having this <laughs> mental yeah. argument with with people in my head who, mm. um, we have a friend, you yeah. know who you are, mm -hmm. who always says, the Enterprise is a great big floating target. Yeah. It's nothing compared to, you know, Star Wars. I, I, I've now seen Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit, you know. I'm going to say, Millennium Falcon, look at its shape. That's a target-like shape. Just the Millennium to bring it. Falcon, you could compare to the Delta Flyer. That's true, you could. You don't compare, I mean, the Enterprise, you would compare to one of those great big lumbering yes. war things that float Star around Destroy. in space. What are they called? Star Destroyers. Star Destroyers. Those are floating targets with little snappy bits that will break off in inertia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the and, okay, they're saying, you know, it's the Enterprise isn't a warship. Look how they easily, the in Star Wars, they brought down the Death Star. 
you know. They, they did it twice as well. Yeah, they did it twice. Yeah, twice. Mm -hmm. Twice it was. Yeah. The whole idea mm. of Star Trek is that they yeah. probably going. What I like about the Enterprise D mm -hmm. is that it has waiters. <laughs> <laughs> there were people there who were waiters. There were people there who were teachers, and there's even a hairdresser. And yes. I like that about yeah. us. I like that about Starship. That's what I look for when I'm, I look to buy one. Yeah. Not buy one, move into one. <laughs> Yeah, it's like if I wasn't if I were in the twenty fourth century and I couldn't I couldn't be in Starfleet mostly because I'd be too thick. Um, I'd definitely like like to be a waiter in Ten Ford or something. I would like to work with Guinan. Yes, Guinan. How Guinan would that be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Say wise things all day. Mm -hmm. Like be wary of Q. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good, good thing. <laughs> yes. I'm picking up a bad sense about this mission. You can say nice, vague things yeah. that sound quite ominous. Or <laughs> really, really weird things like, Tashia, you weren't supposed to know her at all. She's Ooh. meant to be dead. <laughs> that wasn't vague, was it? <laughs> no, not vague. <laughs> Funny, she got that bit dead on, didn't yeah, she? Yeah. <laughs> Everything else is a funny feeling, but that. <laughs> I definitely know you're dead. <laughs> is that predetermined? Then are we saying Guinan somehow killed Tasha in some sort of roundy, twisty way? Hmm. Yes, yeah, you made it happen because Guy um, Tasha Yar. Had that not happened, she wouldn't have ever gone on to the Enterprise B. Mm -hmm. Which meant it. Which which meant then she never would have gone back um, and been kidnapped by Romulans. Yes. And then Sela would never have been born. Yeah, it's it doesn't. Well, we don't really know what the consequences are. Tashi are not going back, but it wouldn't have happened hmm. had Guinan never said that. Yeah. Ooh. A leads to B leads to C. C. <laughs> again, we, we, again, we're talking about our mirror universes and different splits and what consequences from slight time shifts and stuff and God. so complex sometimes it's, you can't keep up i know i know it's oh and that's what i love about star trek universe you know it's you you've got to watch it all to yeah. get it all to yeah. appreciate it all um even star trek the motion picture even yeah it's true that's all bad about that she's never gonna talk to us again is she <laughs> she'll forgive us in time Time. <laughs> Time. In a different universe where we didn't make her watch it. Yeah. In another universe, there's yeah. Sarah, who's not a Trekkie, and neither were we, and... I can't imagine that universe. Oh, what do you think we're doing right now? I don't know. Would we know each other? No, we wouldn't even know, know each, each other. other. Yeah. That changes life, not Great. just for us, but for a lot of people. Yeah, it does, yeah. A okay. lot of people would just not exist if it wasn't for us ever being oh, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> We're important people right now. <laughs> people just simply would not exist yeah. on this planet right mm -hmm. now. No. You don't know how many lives we've saved, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how up we are. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a cue statement, that, wasn't yeah. it? It was a bit. <laughs>